Okay, I'm making this video with the purpose of showing people how to get on IRC. Lately in TF2, well, traditionally in TF2, if you want to get scrims with other teams for 6v6, go on IRC. Uh, and for a long time now, there has been a website, atf2.org, that acted as a sort of web-based IRC client. Uh, problem is, it has went down some time ago, and it seems like a lot of people don't really know how to get an IRC because that website kind of did everything for you. Um, so I'm going to show you how to actually do it. You know, it's funny, it's one of those things like, if you know how to use a GPS, that's great, but what if you don't have one? Would you be able to use a map, or are you just absolutely unable to navigate? Kind of one of those give and take things with convenience. But in any case, there has been reduced uh, use of IRC, and people have been doing the terrible thing of trying to schedule a whole night's worth of scrims, which is terrible for a whole number of reasons. And, uh, you know, and I, I realize that the big reason is because ATF2.org went down. So now there's dozens of ways, I'm sure, that you can get on IRC. And I'm going to show you the way that I do it. It's kind of a traditional old school way. Uh, and I'll explain why I like to do it. So I use MIRC, which is an old IRC client. Uh, it's been around forever. Uh, and I, I happen to use an old version of it. So uh, one of the main reasons I use MIRC is that it's highly customizable and it has a lot of options and the main thing that I like is that you can customize its sounds for different events and what I do is I have this chime sound that I'll show you uh, and it's very it's very clear when it happens so like even if I'm playing in a loud environment where there's rockets exploding and miniguns and stuff there's never a chance that I'll miss somebody messaging me or my client disconnecting or something like that uh, because the chime sound cuts through really well. And now the reason I use an old version of this program instead of the most current one uh, is that the current one really wants you to register it and eventually it just stops working, I think. Like it just doesn't let you keep using it and insists that you pay for it. Well, the old ones are much more, uh, you know, it's not going to do that. I believe it'll let you keep using it forever. At least I haven't run into any kind of problems yet. I have been using it forever. All right, so here's, uh, here's kind of how it works. So once we install the program, we open the program. Uh, in my case, it opens up this options window every time straight away. And the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that your credentials, your name as you want it to appear in the channel, are right here. Um, and since mine are, I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel here. No, actually, you know what? I'll show you how the sounds look. Under sounds here, you can choose all the different things, all the different events that trigger sounds, and you can individually set them all. So, for instance, the chat receiving message, I have set it to be my special chime sound, and I'm going to do a preview of it right here. There it is. And this is the same sound I use for almost every single event, because it gets my attention that something needs my attention. By default, it makes like a series of windows beeping sounds, and those can get kind of, you know, you can lose those a lot more easily. So I'm going to hit cancel now. Uh, and basically at this point, we've gotten to this far back window. Whoops. And this window cannot be closed. See, if I try to close it, this is like the, the most back working pane of the program. Um, you know, also I should note this right here, lightning bolt right here, this is the connect button. And if I hit it right now, it's going to connect to the previous server that I was on, which happens to be Geeks IRC. It's the only server really I use for IRC where we have our scrim finding channel. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch, like you would have to the first time. So there's a little uh, pane or a little bar down here where you can enter text on the bottom. And I'm going to type server irc dot dot net. There we go. And enter. And like I said, at pretty much every event I do triggers that chime sound in this program, which I'm fine with. So sometimes this takes a second. There you go. See, it took a few seconds. We are now connected to Geeks IRC. Now it pops up this, uh, although I think you can disable it right here. Uh, this little window, you could just type the name of your channel right up here. 
which would be TF2 scrim like this, and then just hit enter or join. Uh, I'm weird, and I like to do it the super basic way, so I close this instead, and I do join TF2 scrim, just like that. Bam. Now it's opened up a separate window. See how there's like a separate layer with a different window up here? They're all listed at the top. And there it is. This is the chat room, basically. That's all it is. And this is where you type stuff like test scrim, whatever, you know, sixes, open, yours or ours, and gully wash. Whatever. You can type stuff. It's basically a chat room. No one's here right now. I would hope not. It's midnight. Um, also, you know, people will message you and it'll pop up a separate window, just like how this window sits on top of the previous one. There'll be a separate little window that'll pop up up here and you can have multiples of them open to different users. For instance, I can also do this by messaging someone. Double click on Cherise here. I already warned her I might message her. And there it is. See a separate window popped up. And I'm going to say test. There you go. And she just received that on her end. For her, a little window popped up that said Jaguar or Jaguar Fiend in it. And that is about all there is to it. So please use IRC. Use any other method if you don't want to use this one. Just please go into IRC and get scrims instead of scheduling them. Because, yeah, scheduling them is really bad. And have a, we can have a discussion another time about all the bad things about scheduling. Thank you very much.